Good evening and welcome to today's speech. This is a, a demonstrational speech. Uh, it's how to play a game we all know and love. It's called League of Legends. Uh, just to jump right into it, there's a lot of different things that come together to, come together to form what's called a meta. It, I would describe it as a revolving door of different champions, masteries, summoner spells, uh, that have been popularized through professional uh, <coughs> Korean, Korean players uh, or statistics. Um, and so getting started, you just want to Google uh, LOL uh, and then you click on the first link. Uh, you click on the button on, on the website that says download and play. You'll sign up for an account on the website. You'll choose an account name and a summoner name, which is what you'll, uh, people will see you as. Uh, you want to decide what position you want to play. There's a, uh, here's the map. And then uh, you want to, I don't know what says solo on top, but it, it's going to be a top player going to the top lane, a middle player going middle jungle. And then traditionally in the bottom lane, uh, it consists of a marksman type champion which has long auto attacks and they're also known as uh, ADCs which stands for attack damage carry and then a support which helps them out. Uh, you, uh, so you want to pick a champion you think you would want to play. There's currently 144. Uh, and then I would say play against robots at first to learn how uh, the game works and then you move up to play normal matches and then there's something called ARAM I don't know what it stands for but it's it's a good learning area too it's just one lane so it kind of forces everyone to fight um, and then you can watch prof professional teams to try to figure out your play style and what can potentially be done you can watch streamers via twitch.tv uh, and then uh, League has different series uh, around the world. In North America, it's called LCS. It stands for League Championship Series. Uh, different countries have different play styles. Every major region has won the World Championship except for North America. Uh, there's uh, EU, there's LMS, which in, in cases Taiwan, Hong Kong, and Macau. And then there's LCK, uh, which is Korea, and then there's LPL, which is mainland China. These are all the different leagues. Uh, once you watch enough of the good players, you can begin to uh, try to duplicate their techniques and then um, uh, be positive to your teammates and uh, don't feed. Uh, feeding's when you die uh, a lot, not just a little bit, like if you're doing bad. If you just die a lot, it's called feeding. Uh, it's important to keep a cool head and to, to just try to win the next one if things are really going downhill in a game. Uh, don't tilt. Tilt is where you start to question your own perspective on things and it's important to remember you're not insane. Uh, it's common courtesy at the end of games to type in all chat GG, which stands for good game. Uh, unless it was, I guess, truly a bad game, then you can type BG instead. Uh, in conclusion, I think uh, North NA needs more talent to rise up because right now we've got a lot of bad players on our hands and they think they're good. Uh, so good players need to outweigh the bad and then maybe we'll eventually win a world championship. We'll bring one home. Thank you all for coming and uh, I think that's all I have. Oh yeah, also, one last thing, there's things called wards. This is uh, an, a stealth ward. It, it turns invisible after it's placed. Uh, this is a control ward and it shows stealth wards around it. Um, and so you can kill the stealth wards by placing a control ward. And then there's something called a, a fog of war that uh, whenever you go different places, uh, there will be a fog of war around you and you have to the wards are really important to put in bushes because you can't see inside the bushes. The more you know, thanks for coming. Have a great day.